hello guys this video is actually on lead generation and we'll be seeing the difference between um facebook ads and email marketing which is preferable and it's actually true that facebook has absolutely exploded since its its launch since in um, 2004 so with 2.23 billion active monthly users worldwide that's nearly one third of the world's population it's not something to scoop past but email definitely has a few good years on facebook and hasn't been and hasn't exactly been lazing around since its conception and don't forget that for a long time users of facebook weren't able to create facebook accounts without already having an email account so you can imagine how many email users are there according to the 2018 study from the redactive group there are a massive 3.8 billion users worldwide so um in conclusion about this users you see that facebook users are 2.23 billion and email users are 3.8 billion so the first one goes to email marketing okay and secondly we'll be using the, um, the daily usage to actually check which is also preferable or most likely to be used for your lead generation or to generate lead and uh, with with um with such eye watching high users numbers it's not surprised that the actual platform usage numbers are quite high too so as a matter of fact facebook has recently realized okay sorry facebook has recently released tools to limit how much time users spend on the app to try and address the negative effects of overuse in one day there are 422 million status updates 260 million messages sent and 72 million shared links totally it's resulting to 710 million social share activities a day so that's a talk that's a lot of um, talking but email talks the talk and works the work with a seriously respectable 281 billion email sent per day for dramatic effect if we convert that number to fiscal means the envelopes and e and end on end could reach the moon and back seven seventy eight times so we can see that the social sharing activities per day on Facebook is 710 million and the email sent per day is 208 billion. So you can see that the um, 281 billion rather is higher than the two, um, 710 million. So the second round goes to the email marketing as well here. So thirdly, we're looking at the reach between Facebook and um, email marketing. Facebook's business relies on businesses spending money to reach their own fans. So it's not surprising that with each algorithm update, the organic and the unpaid reach of business page often often takes a, dra a dive. Facebook's organic reach has dropped from 16% in 2012 to as low as 2% in 2018. Businesses spending time, money and effort in amazing a fan base and then still having to pay to talk to them continues to be the source of plenty of I'm done with Facebook. Like a lot of them just want to stop doing Facebook because of how um, the, um, they spend money, time, effort and still yet have to pay to talk to them. So they will be like they, they don't want, they are no longer interested in Facebook or because of the frustrated page management. So email arrangements is very different. Those um, things like the algorithmic reach throating around an issue with email okay so instead email which is affected by deli deliverability like for it to be able to deliver the global average delivery rate of email is approximately 85 percent for 2018 and is trending upward so what this means is if you have a facebook page that has 50,000 likes your latest post is likely to be placed in the news feed of approximately 1,000 to 3,000 of your own of your own facebook fans so if you send an email to a list that's same size um it's likely to be placed in 42,500 inboxes so facebook organic in percentage is two but email delivery rate is 85 percent so the third round also goes to the email marketing lastly we'll be looking at the purchase 
it's true that spammy sales in is invading our inbox is an annoyance we've all experienced at one point or the other so you might be surprised to find that email can be a remarkably effective driver of purchase as a matter of fact email has been found to generate more conversions than any other marketing channel with 66 percent of customers stating that they've made a purchase as a result of email marketing those who have made um, a purchase after being a facebook aid came in came in at 20 percent okay so we can see the difference that facebook marketing resulting in sales is 20 percent meanwhile email marketing resulting in a sale is 66 percent so the this round likewise the last round also goes to email marketing so in conclusion should email marketing replace facebook advertising actually not at all the key to a winning marketing campaign is appreciating the role each channel plays and achieving a balance. So you should learn to actually achieve a balance. Why email definitely has its strengths, Facebook advertising does has its advantage, being a good driver of awareness, engagement and shareability. If you've got the budget, Facebook advertising is a great starting point to drive new traffic to your website, whereas email is a great um, clincher that comes in to drive conversions, leads, sales, and retentions. Okay, so this is the end of the video, and thank you for watching.